After a rebound in travel this summer, people are once again canceling plans for trips because of the surging number of COVID cases. In a recent survey, 27% of us... Hello, today I present to you an extremely attractive application for music lovers. It's completely free. You can listen to music online or download unlimited music to use whenever you don't have internet. The powerful search function helps you find anything you want. Trust me. It's hard not to find what you're looking for because the search function is really powerful. Application download link is attached in the description of the video. I'm pretty sure you'll like it. Thanks. Respondents said they had postponed a trip again. And more than 54% said that the Delta variant has made them less interested in traveling right now. Errol Barnett has more from Reagan National Airport. He's right outside Washington, D.C. Errol, everybody wants to go somewhere, but now we're starting to get scared again to go. Good morning to you. You know it. Good morning to you. And we totally understand. It's really an emotional balancing act so many people are experiencing right now. On one hand, they're desperate to reconnect with friends they haven't seen in a very long time and head out to a big event. But on the other hand, the pandemic is raging once again. So we spoke with two women who, who truly struggled with what to do. It was really kind of heartbreaking to not be able to finally go. On Wednesday, Cotton Star of Houston was expecting to see her friends in San Diego for the first time in a long time. It's been uh, basically two years now since I've been able to see them. Kim Hoff outside Denver has been waiting even longer, planning to meet her friends at DragonCon, a pop culture convention in Atlanta next month. When it got to the point of the rates just skyrocketing in the last week or so, I thought, no, I'm sorry. There's no level of logistics that will make me feel okay if I bring this back with me. Both canceled their long-awaited trips due to the spread of the Delta variant, the highly transmissible strain of COVID accounting for most new cases, which soared nationwide over the past two months. It wasn't just the rates in Atlanta. Uh, the rates are getting worse here in Colorado. And who knows how many people you're going to pass in the airport. Airfare is on the downtrend. Economist Adit Demodoron with the travel app Hopper says summer flight demand has flattened from pandemic highs, which is now leading to lower prices. But his service is finding since July, one aspect of travel is up. There's been a 33% increase in people buying cancelable tickets. People want to have that option to cancel if for any reason, you know, something happens, um, the situation develops in a way where they can't take that trip. Another potential pitfall, airlines cutting flights. In June and July, domestic air cancellations were above their 1% average, which translates to 10,000 cancellations in July alone. Spirit, American and other carriers suffering from staffing, bad weather and other issues, leaving people like Star concerned. To help manage her lupus, she takes immunosuppressants. I'm a high-risk category, so I was a little concerned with what was going to happen during that travel. I was going to be exposed to a lot of people. Um, a lot of kind of angry people on the airplanes didn't really want to get involved with that. The worst case scenario made her cancel her plans. Our hospitals are filling up so fast and we're one of the largest medical centers in the nation. I don't know if there will be room if I have to end up going. Hoff's ailing grandfather led her to change her mind. I've been keeping in the back of my mind, I might need to make a short notice trip to see him. And if I take the risk for anything, you know, it should be family. That's a good point. Now, Cotton did not purchase a cancelable ticket, but her airline Southwest is offering her a credit for a future flight. Hoff did purchase flight insurance, which is always a good idea, and she hopes to recoup, recoup her costs taking that avenue. But for all the people cancelling their travel plans, a sizable number still expect to head out. According to a recent survey, Anthony, 26% of respondents say they do, in fact, plan to take a trip come October. Yeah, it's a, it's a really tricky decision, Errol. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, I think everybody... You're thinking about it too yeah, in October, and, too. And having second people. thoughts, you know. Yeah. It's very hard to be an airline right now. Yeah, sure. How many people are going to show up? And right. I hear the airlines are trying to be accommodating, too, because they understand. They you understand. Know, who thought last summer we'd still be doing this this summer? But I here know. we are. Here yeah. we are.